Where is our immune system located? For example, where's the stomach? We know that. Where's the liver? We also know that. But where is the immune system? In fact, our immune system is distributed throughout the body, including the amygdala, thymus, lymph nodes, spleen, appendix, and even bone marrow. And they all produce protective cells, lymphocytes. And thanks to immunity, we survive in this world of bacteria and viruses. Strong immunity is not only protection against colds, it is also a counteraction to a serious disease like oncology. And how can we raise and straighten our immunity? We have just collected the most basic methods and methods in this video. So watch the video to the end, it will be very interesting and useful. Friends, in order to stay healthy, beautiful and active for a long time, it is important to take a comprehensive approach to this issue. But how not get confused in all this? Where to get answers to questions? You can learn all this useful information about health and longevity from the videos on our channel. So we recommend subscribing and turning on the bell so as not to miss new useful releases. So the primary measures to maintain our immunity are micronutrients. That is the most important vitamins and minerals. And here it is worth mentioning about vitamin C, vitamin D and zinc. As a rule, when people talk about immunity, they first of all remember about vitamin C. Vitamin C is really well known to everyone, but it is not only involved in our immunity. Vitamin D and zinc also have a very strong effect. Of course, there is no point in showing huge dosages of these vitamins and minerals into yourself. It is enough to take a daily dose. An overdose, on the contrary, can harm the body. For example, the dose of vitamin C in different sources varies from 50 mg to 90 mg per day. The daily dose of vitamin D can also vary from 800 units to 2000 international units, and the daily dose of zinc is 11 mg. In fact, with a very high degree of probability, it can be argued that you lack some of these substances, especially if you live in cold regions, or at least in places where there is winter and snow. Because it's winter, as a rule, everyone lacks vitamin D. People often don't get zinc and vitamin C either. Sources of vitamin C are well known. Citrus fruits, bell peppers, and of course kiwi, which is probably the leader in the availability of vitamin C. Sources of vitamin D are primarily the sun, but there is not so much vitamin D in food. In principle, you can eat eggs, there is vitamin D, but you will have to eat a dozen eggs daily, and this is not very healthy. There is a lot of zinc, for example, in pumpkin seeds. By the way, it is a very good product, since it is useful not only with zinc, but also with many other substances, so it is definitely recommended to add it to your diet. By the way, if you want to learn more about all the useful properties of pumpkin and pumpkin seeds, then there is a separate video on this topic on our channel. You can find the link to the video by clicking on the hint that appears or by following the link in the description. Let's go further. The next way to increase our immunity is to harden the body. There are various hardening techniques. You can harden both by pouring water and by contrast shower. It is better to start with a contrasting shower because the temperature transition can be made smoother than pouring a bucket of ice water on yourself at once. Also note that there are contraindications, so it is better to consult a doctor first. To raise and maintain immunity, it is also necessary to monitor the health of our intestines, because 80% of our immunity is concentrated in the intestine. For intestinal health, you need a generally healthy diet. You need to use probiotics, necessary bifidobacteria for its recovery, and of course fiber. The next point to straighten our immunity is physical activity. Yes, they raise it very well. But there is one caveat here. The fact is that people often say that, on the contrary, immunity decreases from physical exertion. Why does such a contraindication arise? Why do people say exactly the opposite things? Both are partly right. Let's figure it out. The fact is that immunity drops immediately after intense physical exertion. This is a short-term effect. 
That is, if you went to a gym and did your best there, then of course it's stress for your body. And immediately after the gym, its immune functions will be weakened, it's true. But in between workouts, your immunity will be stronger. Also remember that after training, you do not need to overcool and contact infected people. Immediately after training, go home and rest. Omega-3 fatty acids also help straighten the immune system. They increase the body's resistance to bacteria and viruses and also contributes to the regulation of inflammation processes. Omega-3 is found in fatty fish, especially trout, salmon, tuna. There is also a lot of omega-3 in some types of oil, primarily flaxseed oil, as well as chia seed oil, walnut oil, and there is also a lot of omega-3 in the walnut itself. Separately, it's worth mentioning the sleep regime, because nothing robs our immune system like lack of sleep. If we sleep little and poorly, our immune system weakens. If we sleep enough and soundly, immunity comes back to normal. Very often, people do have compromised immunity due to lack of sleep. So if you just fix the problem, everything will fall into place. Let's move on. The next item is tomato juice. If we regularly consume tomato juice, then we increase the concentration of carotenes in all cells of the body. It also contains vitamin E, which is also important for immunity. It is especially good if we use carrots along with tomato juice, because it contains vitamin A. It is worth noting that the combination vitamin A plus vitamin E is the best protection of our cells. And the more concentration of these substances we have, the more successfully the body will fight microorganisms. Also, our spleen needs protection from harmful substances, and antioxidants such as vitamin A and vitamin E are great for this. There is another way to increase local immunity. These are essential oils that are sprayed in the air or special nasal drops to straighten local immunity. Studies have shown that these measures improve the condition of the mucosa and moisturize it. And wet mucose membranes are good. Because if the mucosa is dry, then we are much more likely to infect ourselves with some kind of microbe or virus. Because wet mucose contributes to their death. All those bacteria and viruses that we inhale through the nose, they do not immediately enter our lungs. They initially interact with the mucosa of our nose. And if this mucus is there, then the bacteria in this mucus just very often die in most cases. And if our nose is dry, it means that the local immune function is weakened. And this is no longer desirable. By the way, friends, do you already follow any of these rules? Feel free to share your opinion and experience in the comments.